Alrighty, Captains, it is the holiday season, and I've got for you today a Festoon Lights wire plug-in. Uh, just to show the edges, so I'm going to go the show bounds down here. These are the screens. So if I take this down and bring up my LED map, this is what the LED map would look like. And here is the generated Festoon Lights. So let's start from scratch, bring in a clear. We're going to grab in the Festoon Light Slices V2, drop it in. And when we activate it, you won't see anything here because it's missing the slices in. So navigate to your slices tab. I'm just going to grab everything and drag and drop them onto the slice in tab. Now you'll also notice that uh, these slices are much wider than our generated festoon section here. Not to worry, we can change that by going into the X spread and the number of loops here. So I would say turn on the show bounds to find the edges of our screen. And then grab our X spread and change it so we're just getting the edges, about three is pretty good for my current example. All right, now we've noticed that these are fairly wide loops now. We want to tighten those up so we can change the number of loops. So I'm going to crank this all the way up to eight. And now we have those nice tight loops again. We can probably hide our bounds now because we've filled all of our screens. The next option here is the droop amount. So we can have very flat or extremely droopy or somewhere just enough to clip the bottom there. Uh, below the droop amount, we have offset X. Now this is useful if we have screens that aren't dead lit centered, so we can have those offset. And Y if you wanna have them just sneaking in through the top or partway through the bottom of a slice, but by default, it is set to negative five pixels, so that's just enough to hide the top line. Below that, we now have lights per strand. Now this is set to eight, but we can crank this all the way up to 32, if you want to have a lot more lights. Um, I'm just going to leave it as 8 for now. The more you put in, the more strain it will be on your machine. Uh, light scale is next, so we can have these very small lights or very large lights. Again, a third is where I've got mine set for default. And light thickness changes how skinny these lights are, so they can be almost like icicles or they could be full baubles. And again, I've just set it at a third, it's a fairly pleasing look. Below that, we have the light flash speed. Now this is in Hertz, so two times a second, four times a second, all the way up to 16. So you could also slow this all the way down or freeze it completely. Below the light flash mount, we have the two colors. So I can come in and say, I make this maybe a cyan and a magenta, and it gives us more of a cool look, not necessarily a Christmas sort of color. Below these two color pickers, we have the enable bloom switch. Now, bloom is quite expensive in this wire patch. So if you turn it on, you may see your frame rate dip a little bit. I uh, need the ability to control how much bloom there is. So if you want it just a little bit subtle or about halfway is where I find it looks nice. So I'm going to disable that. Um, well, you'll see down here cable segments and wonder what that is. So this is actually how many sections of a line are between each one of these loops. If I was to set this to something like four, you'll notice that's very, very sharp between each. But to make it easier, we can say four lights per strand and four cable segments, and you'll see straight lines between each one. So if you want more of an abstract look, this definitely works. Uh, again, we could make this eight, sorry, 32 lights per strand, and then 32 cable segments, and each part between these lines, if we make those smaller, would be a straight line. So you want a nice and dense there. I leave it at 32. I've also given you the opportunity to crank it all the way up to 128, but this will add a bunch more processing power because you're suddenly drawing a lot more geometry. So 32 is fairly good. Again, if you want to get away with less, you can get away with eight or 16. That's just where I've left it. I'm gonna reset this. So below the cable segments, we have cable thickness. Now this is just the cord there. And we have the color to pick, so we can choose any color we want for the cable. Alrighty, so this is fairly flexible, and again, it works on how many uh, slices you want. You don't need to have all the slices. Again, we could probably lose some of these if you wanted to hide them in the middle. But it's just a fun and quick way of adding a festoon style light, especially around the Christmas time, or even later for any other sort of color for celebrations you want to add to the top of your slices. I hope that was useful and have a fantastic end of the year.